I'm Jasmine and welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, then hello, I'm Jasmine. Welcome to my channel. We do fun stuff on this channel, so subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you will see whenever I upload new videos. Yeah. <laughs> Today's video is episode 3 of me making new clothes out of clothes I already have or just making clothes as I think I shortened it. <laughs> I'm not even sure. And today I will be making a skirt out of a dress. This dress, the pattern is really nice and I really like the beading right here so I want to keep that. But the dress it not fit me <laughs> um I don't like it that's that's just plain and simple I don't like it but I like the pattern so I am going to change it into something that I would actually wear I want this video to be as short as possible the last episode wasn't that short so I'm going to try a new thing but let's jump into the video and you'll see how I make turn this into a skirt <laughs> a mini skirt so let's jump into the video guys all right so I have this and the seam ripper and the game the aim is to get out the zipper and to separate the skirt into two parts the dress the cloth into two parts the back and the front so that is the first step so let's go okay so I have separated everything all the parts I have this little hook thingy I have the zip I have the inside piece I have this the cloth that I'm actually going to use the back and the back and the front and then I have the top part of this I, I don't know what I'm gonna do with that but right now what I think I'm going to do is with the front part, I'm going to make the slits first. So I'm going to make the slits and then I'm going to hem it, right? So that's what I'm going to do right now. So let's, let's go. Okay, so now I'm going to show you guys how I made the opening. So I'm going to just turn it over so I can mark on it. I first marked where I wanted my hem to be and mine is one inch. And then from that hem mark, I mark up to where I want the top of the opening to be. Right? And then the next step is to just seam rip down that seam so that I have the opening to work with. And if you guys also have like a piping or something, I just cut it longer and then I'll stitch it upwards so it doesn't fray. Next, I'm moving on to the opening. So I just kind of <laughs> wide it open and I wanted it to be 1.5 inches like the other one. And so I widen it open and then I'm going to iron it. So now I'm going on to the back panel. If we were using a normal pattern and material cutout, we would then cut the back panel in two in order to put in the zipper. But the dress that I cut, it already has a small opening at the top where the current, the original zipper was. So instead of me cutting it open again and attaching the zipper again, and making a new zipper hole I'm just going to use this zipper hole as the zipper hole <laughs> and I'm going to add the zipper right now guys so I won't be making a waistband for this kind of skirt so I'm folding over the top part to make a smooth straight line and that's also going to be needed for the zip part right here to kind of go and hide 
like that. Yeah, so now I'm gonna put in the zipper, guys, with my brother as my helper. So this part is hemmed for the back of the skirt, but the bottom is hemmed for the front of the skirt. So I folded both pieces in half, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a skirt that I um like the fit off and i'm going to rest it on this and then i'm going to trace it out and for this part i'm going to leave more up here for me to fold to make the hem and then when i reach over here i'm going to leave more down here for me to fold to make the hem <laughs> again so i'm gonna cut out these two parts and stitch them together that's where i am at right now yeah good Another tip for when you're doing skirts, if you know that you have a decent size bottom, make the back of the skirt a bit longer than the front so that when your bottom carries up the length of the skirt, it doesn't carry it right to the bit of your bottom, but it still covers your bum, especially if you're making a mini skirt. Make it longer than the front piece. just saw me cutting the front and the back parts of the skirt so what I'm going to do now is fold and pin fold pin and iron the top hem for the front of the skirt and once I finish that I will get the length that I need for the back of the skirt for me to fold pin iron the hem <laughs> for the back of the skirt so those are the two things that i'm going to do right now it's so hot let's go Alright, so the front of the skirt is 15 inches. Can you guys see that? The front of the skirt is 15 inches. So what I'm going to do is measure for the back of the skirt 15.5 inches because I don't have much booty to be adding allowance down there. So I'm going to do 15.5 inches and fold along there to mark my hem right so I'm gonna do that pinny pinny irony irony and then I'll be sewing all the hems so the top I've pinned all the hems everything matches up so the last step for me to do is with good side facing come down here guys let me show you what I'm showing you so with good side facing good side so this is the back right now so with good side facing good side I'm going to measure them up line them up so that it is perfectly centered and I'm going to pin it together and so straight down you diva see that i'm gonna show straight down the sides and then i'm going to sew the hem straight across the top and the hem straight across the bottom and then i'll be done so i'm going to 
mega pin right now and then I'm going to sew and then I'm going to done. <laughs> So I just fixed a mistake that I made and now I am going to do the top hem and the bottom hem for the skirt. So the skirt is <clears throat> together, it's now a skirt. <laughs> so I'm just going to do the hem straight across, bottom and top and I'm going to be done. Yup! So Let's get stitchy stitching. Turn it on and start. So the skirt is done. Stay for the before and after and I'll see you guys in the outro. already then hit that notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever I upload new videos quick question in this video it started off um, randomly that I was changing my hairstyle every minute but then I started to do it purposefully so comment down below how many times you guys saw me change my hairstyle in this one video yeah, so that's the question for the day. What other clothes would you guys like to see me make? What other videos would you guys like to see me do? Just comment them all down below. And have a great rest of your day and a great rest of your life. Bye!